Hey, I'm Marie Poulin, and I want to show you how I've been managing my projects inside of Notion. So you might have seen my past video about task management. My system has definitely evolved quite a bit over the past year, and so I wanted to share this process with you. Um, and you'll notice too, you've heard me talk about Para before, projects, areas, resources, archives. One thing I've really changed now is that I don't just go to my projects database anymore because the projects database on its own is not necessarily super valuable. I need to see the projects in context with other tasks and other projects. So I have this project planner dashboard that's kind of replaced now what would have been just straight up projects in the sidebar. And you can see here my projects dashboard, my projects uh, database is here embedded inside this project planner. Now. One of the methods I've moved more toward in terms of my project planning is this idea of uh, managing your projects by energy level. This is from the book uh, Making Ideas Happen by Scott Belsky. I really love this approach, so simple, but you're really organizing your projects. You can call it by priority, but really it's about how much energy this project deserves. And I think once we sort of map these out on an energy line, uh, this really is going to ebb and flow and probably change on a daily and weekly basis. So if you've got a dozen projects on the go, you're, you're not giving all of them your extreme energy and attention every single day and every single week. Sometimes projects are spanning over months and they're still important, but they're going to take up different amounts of your energy on a day to day week to week, month to month basis. So by having this here where I can very quickly see my projects in terms of the energy I've decided to give them, you can see here I've got extreme, high, medium, low, and idle. And so the idea is that as you go day by day, week by week, you're moving these things around. So I might decide, okay, I know I've got this meeting uh, with Kai, tomorrow we're gonna go over productize offers. That's gonna move into extreme. And I know that maybe this one, um, this one's still high, it's not super extreme just yet. Um, and I would move these around on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, and just kind of adjust them. The reason I would do this is because my tasks inherit the energy property from the projects. So there's a relation between the projects and the tasks that support them. And so here I've got my actions database, that's my tasks. And I can look at tasks by project, I can look at all tasks, I can look at tasks based on the effort. And I'll show you what these different views look like. So there's high brain power, normal brain power, and low brain power. And then what I'm doing is sorting by energy level. So let's say I open up one of these. Add curriculum to the sales page. So I know that this is a low effort task, it's extreme energy. And I didn't put this in here, but because this is connected to my course project and that course project has a property of energy, it's going to sort by that. So this way, at a weekly basis, if you make adjustments here in this energy line, these tasks are actually going to um, adjust accordingly. So for example, if I move Notion Mastery to idle, you're going to see that our automatically disappears from this priority. And so you can look at this um, list of tasks based on brain power required and focus level required to do them. And I can sort this by date, or I can sort this by effort, time it's going to take, you name it, but it's going to be based on the energy first of the project. So again, because this is most important, I'm going to drag it there. You can see all of the tasks adjust. So this means that on a daily or weekly level, depending on how you look at your task management, um, these things are going to be more dynamic and adjust to your project importance. You can see here, I can switch this to quick wins. So you can do the uh, eat the frog approach where you do the most difficult thing first thing in the morning, or maybe you're feeling really low energy and you just wanna do some quick tasks. So you could do priority quick wins and this is gonna filter it by, um, oh, this one actually doesn't have a filter. So let's add it. I would say, let's do, we wanna filter, let me delete this here. I wanna sort this by, so this one actually has Pomodoro Ascending and Energy Ascending. I would probably switch this to be Energy Ascending and then Pomodoro of Ascending. So that's going to uh, prioritize the fewest Pomodoros first as we go down. If I scroll down, you can see like the high effort ones. Um, lots of Pomodoros are there. So a few different ways we can view this uh, database. And I could also filter this to say, the dates are, is within the next week. 
and let's say is assigned to me. There we go. So I know I've got this planning session with Kai, that's super important, we've got this project here. So I've got a few different ways that I can view this table. I also have tasks by project, so if I want to rapidly go through and add a bunch of tasks for each of these projects while they're sort of visually all here, I can do that. And I can say filter, and I can just change this to whatever project I'm working on at the time, and then rapidly add those tasks quickly. And this is filtered again. Uh, any tasks that are not done, not assigned to my assistant, and related to that project. So this is really where I do my sort of higher level project planning and get those tasks written out. And then below here, I've got my task planner view, which has a lot of the additional properties. So it's got that energy level of the project. It's got the brain power required, high, medium, high, normal, and low. And then it's got Pomodoros. So again, I can view this in a few different ways. Um, if you haven't heard of the Pomodoro method, I'll definitely uh, attach a link in the description. Uh, but the idea is to do these 25 bursts, 25 minute bursts of uh, time spent and then followed by a five minute break. And you do a number of Pomodoros in a day. But the idea is you're meant to take that break after the 25 minutes are done. Don't keep powering through, take those breaks. And so I try to think about things in terms of uh, how much, how many Pomodoros they're going to take. Something I'm experimenting with. I'm sure in a couple months this video will, there'll be a follow-up video that will look a little bit different or be tweaked, but this is what is working at the moment. Um, and also I'll be able to see anything that wasn't done. So everything here is filtered to assign to me and not complete. So it's a pretty simple filter. Uh, and that way I can see these things were not done yet. I know that they're low effort and they'll take me about an hour or so to do. And so I can either drag these over to the next day. So like, oh, okay, I didn't get that today. I'm going to move that over to tomorrow. And then you can start to see if you do your, your weekly scheduling and your weekly planning, and you start putting these in, you will start to see how many Pomodoros you've got, how much energy <laughs> is going to be required to do those tasks every day. But it gives you some flexibility that uh, just because you don't get something done on a certain day, um, you know, doesn't mean it has to get done that day. There might be days where I just am not feeling super creative or high energy and I can move those to a different day. So it really depends obviously on your priorities and commitments, but the idea is to prioritize those ones that you've said are most important and deserve your energy. So I can open up one of these just to show you what that looks like. I know it's related to the course. That's extreme energy, high effort, completed that. In fact, that was three Pomodoros and I can check that off as done. And that's going to disappear from the calendar. So this is how I do my project planning. I do also have a task. Um, let's go to my uh, actions dashboard as well. I wanna see what that looks like. So this is kind of similar, but this is a little bit more granular um, where I don't have my projects embedded here. This is really just doing the task planning. And I've got these guidelines for myself of no more than two high energy events per day, no more than 12 Pomodoros per day and start with extreme energy. Again, I'm sure this is going to evolve over time, but you can see it looks very similar to that other version. And then I can change the view here to just show me the simple calendar right here without all of that extra detail. Or I can decide, no, I do, I, as I'm planning my tasks, I do want to see everything that's there. So you've got a lot of flexibility here. Uh, show me everything that's undated, recurring, today, this week, backlog you name it, or even project specific. So if there's a project that you're always accessing, make a view for that and you can very rapidly check that out. Uh, but lately I am finding this uh, task planner view is actually pretty helpful as I think about the energy required of my tasks and my week. I used to be really resistant to using the calendar view. Um, and I felt like because I often, uh, you know, would set out with best intentions and wouldn't always follow through. I just keep kind of dragging tasks and moving them around. But now that I have a few other team members and people that I need to coordinate with, having these laid out in a little bit more granular detail has proven really helpful. So I used to do things with the uh, today, tomorrow, next, and later approach. I don't really use that as much anymore. I've been relying on this calendar view. And then of course, you'll want to create some task templates for that. Um, so essential tasks, again, you could call this like high effort, uh, you know, time consuming tasks, whatever you want to call them, but just that those properties are already ready to go when I create a new task. I've also got this new system for weekly recurring items. I'll probably do a whole video on that, but essentially I can add my weekly recurring items like so. 
and I can drag these, you know, every Friday, every Wednesday, um, and you'll notice those properties are already there. So clearing the inbox, a lot of these will have uh, Pomodoro's already added and effort already added. You can just kind of get a sense where let's say a bunch of these happen on the same, the same day, I can highlight three of them and just move them over and they've got all those properties. So that's just a quick, a quick example. I'll delete those because I don't need all of those tasks at the moment. Uh, but I'll go into more detail about how I set up those recurring items now. But yeah, that is my task um, task management dashboard. I also have my content related tasks down below. Um, but most of the time I'm checking out this type of view here. And that's really helping me get stuff done. Jump back to the project planner so you can kind of see what's happening here. So I like to have this uh, view here where I can rapidly add tasks. But then again, I still have this uh, task planner here. So I can rapidly uh, take a look at things. I can also drag things here if I really want to uh, reassign them a date or move them wherever. Uh, I can do that. And so this is my preferred view. Again, I can just view the simple table view or a board view, but this is mostly fairly static in terms of I like these particular views by project, by energy, and by task planner. Again, I just really love the ability to sort by the energy level of the project. And again, if you want to think of it in terms of priority, you're welcome to do that. But really it's about um, how much energy do I want to give that project? And then looking at the energy that the project is, or the task is gonna take, just making sure that those align, making sure that we're spending more time on the stuff that we said was most important. So that's how I've been doing my project planning at the moment. You know, it's uh, it's been a great system for just kind of keeping on top of multiple projects happening at the same time. Most of us, if we're any sort of uh, creative, and even if you're not creative, you're probably still working on a number of projects at the same time. And so just making sure that you are you have one place where you do know everything that is on your plate, that's gonna be the key uh, to really keeping on top of your tasks. And of course, having that weekly review and in that weekly review process, making sure to adjust these as needed. So I know that this is a super important project, but it's not gonna be my top priority this week. I can move that to idle. But next week or Sunday night when I do my weekly planning, that's gonna move back up into extreme. But for now, when I'm sorting tasks and if I'm doing, if I have a lot more energy in the day and I can take on more tasks than I assigned myself, uh, then I'm gonna start with the stuff that's, that's extreme first and get that stuff out of the way. So that's how I've been doing my task management, my project management. It's really been working for me. I'm sure there'll be small tweaks that I'll make along the way, but I think this gives you a pretty good sense of what's going on. Projects by energy, actions by project, or again, you can you can choose your preferred view here, but um, I like to again, rapidly add my project tasks here. And then I've got my task planner at the bottom that has all of the different properties that I want. So I hope that's helpful and gives you some ideas of how you might want to approach your task management in Notion, project planning, etc. And so I'd love to hear from you if you have any questions, if there's anything that I didn't cover that you want to know or see in more detail, let me know. Uh, this stuff, I know sometimes it becomes second nature and you kind of forget what you don't know. So if there's anything here that you want to see in more detail and want me to cover next, definitely comment below and I will do my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.